All right, it's crunch time here on the jump. So after Kendrick Nunn told the South Florida Sun Sentinel that he <laughs> should win Rookie of the Year because the Heat are, quote, a playoff team, John Moran mm. posted a GIF of himself laughing as a reaction. Jay, where does Moran stand for you in the Rookie of the Year race compared to Nunn? Rachel, John Morant's number one, but I appreciate the moxie and the competitiveness of Kendrick Nunn, and they are a playoff team. He is correct with Jimmy Butler, but so is John Morant. They would have been a lot for eight seed. Yes. John Morant number one, Zion number two, and then Kendrick Nunn. I got it as a landslide, Jay. It's John Morant. Listen, John Morant is the best player on this team. He almost made the all-star team this year. To me, it's apples and oranges. I got John Morant by a landslide, Rachel. Wow. There's people who will pick at you over landslide, but he's definitely number one perk. Exactly. There's no question about it. <laughs> All right, on this date in 2010, a 21-year-old Kevin Durant aw, became the youngest Ooh. player in NBA history to win a scoring title. KD, of course, has gone on to win four scoring titles, tied for third most in NBA history, behind Michael Jordan, behind Wilt. Kendrick, where does KD rank for you among all-time scorers? Rachel, we're talking about Kevin Durant. He's the greatest scorer in NBA history. When we talk about KD, these young guys be talking about people getting in their bag. Offensively, KD gets in his bag, his suitcase, his toiletry bag, his backpack, <laughs> everything. His offensive game is beautiful to watch. And you know what, Big Perk? I hear all the haters now. Of course you're going to say that. You're best friends with them. You <laughs> played in OKC. Jay Will, of course you're going to say that. You do the boardroom with him. You're like his employee. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says, right. Rachel. He's the most prolific scorer the game has ever seen. Preach. He has the body of Giannis with the skill set of Kyrie to a degree. We've never Preach. seen something like that. Yeah, well, yes. well there, there's people who are going to stand for Will, but that's an argument I think we're all willing to get into. And, of course, MJ, greatest player ever. It's time to jump around. Big news from the NFL. The Owners and Players Association have worked out an off-season virtual workout program that includes stipends mm. of $1,500 for teams to buy players at-home workout equipment. Lakers vet Jared Dudley tweeted out his support for the stipend, which of course raised questions about why players being paid millions <laughs> of dollars haven't just bought their own workout equipment. But it's not just NFL players. It's not just Jared Dudley. The reigning MVP, Giannis Antetokounmpo, has said he doesn't have a hoop at home. Celtics all-star Jason Tatum told me yesterday he hasn't even picked up a basketball since the Celtics last game. So Jay, can you please explain this to me? You can buy a hoop at Home Depot. You can Amazon this stuff. Why aren't guys doing this at home already? Well, Rach, there, there was a pandemic out there. People didn't know if they can go outside. Like, I'm not going to fault guys for not going outside and buying a hoop. They do have multi-million dollar facilities they're used to going to and working out. So, I mean, this is just where it is, Rach. I, I get it. I get it. But I, I've spoken to a lot of players, and one of the first questions I ask is sort of, how is your game holding up? And a number of them, like a big chunk of them, are telling me, oh, I'm not, I don't have a hoop to shoot on. I have been surprised, let's say, that the NBA hasn't taken the same step it looks like the NFL is taking to send their guys equipment so they can keep up our games if we ever get to play a season again. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.